Hello everyone. In the last video, we saw the inferences out of this particular curve. Let's try to do a meaningful inference again. So we said that any voltage which lies between zero and VIL, VIL could be some one fourth of VDD or something. Let's say VDD was one volt. So VIL will be 250 millivolts. So anything, any voltage at the input of this particular inverter, which lies between zero and 250 millivolts will be recognized as logic zero okay any voltage will be uh, any voltage that is above one vih so vih let's consider again a three-fourth of vdd which may be around 750 millivolts so any voltage at the input side of the inverter which lies which lies between 750 millivolts and one volt that would be recognized as logic one at the input side and similarly on the output side we mentioned that we if you if you see if any voltage which lies lies between zero to vil you expect the output to be high okay any voltage at the input of the inverter which lies between vih and vdt the output uh, the output is expected to be low or as close to zero it is it is some finite value which is vol it could be vol or it could be exactly zero but somewhere which will be recognized as zero so again uh, vol which is present at the output that should lie in the range of zero to vil Okay, the VOL should be within range to zero to VIL to be recognized as logic zero at the next stage. Okay, it's it's pretty it's as simple as that because this is at the this is at first stage we are looking into zero to VIL at the input, so the output of this will be form will will be again the input of some other stages. So the input of that particular stage should have a logic level which is zero to VIL to be detected as logic zero. So hence VOL will be somewhere lying somewhere between zero to VIL just to be detected as logic zero at the next stage okay so let's move on let's look into a more practical curve so for example if we have the VOH also so right now let's consider the output high voltage or the maximum voltage that is attained at the output of this particular inverter is VDT let's try to assume that now we'll look into more practical curve which looks something like this so this is again a curve which has been derived out of the inverter basically we take the probes and, pl and put it over here put it over here and then plot this particular graph okay and this is a more practical curve that you will be seeing at the output of this particular inverter this was more close to an an ideal one close to an ideal one it still had a finite slope because the most ideal one had an infinite slope this is again close to a uh, close to the ideal one which has got a finite slope okay in this case we have a slope but the curve is not as straight as this one it has got these curves and these are because of the non idealities of the inverter itself okay so again if you see the slope which is present in the mid range this is still a negative value the slope that you still see in the mid range it's still a negative value okay now let us try to uh, let, let us try to first draw the 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 vil and vih and plot the vil vih vol and voh on this particular curve okay so for example let's say this is the point this is the minimum point that we see over here that will be or th this is the the input voltage level should be at least at this particular point vil the input voltage should be in this range to be detected to be detected as logic zero at the input of this particular inverter okay that is that is the first thing the vil which was present over here it's present now over here and if your input voltage lies in the range of zero to vil your output is expected to be high so this is not exactly logic one but somewhere uh, somewhere around a margin which will be detected as logic one okay that is first thing second any voltage any input voltage which crosses vih and which and which is below vdd will be detected as logic one at the input of this particular inverter and if you provide a voltage level in this range to the input of this particular inverter the output will be detected as logic one as logic zero it, it is not exactly logic zero but it it will be a voltage which lies in the range of logic zero which will be detected as logic zero in the next in the next stage of the inverter okay next is output low voltage so what it says is when your input voltage lies between somewhere vih and vih and above you will expect an output which is close to vol which is close to vol and this vol will be in that it will be in the range of it will be in this particular range it, it will be basically below vil 
so why it makes sense to have VOL below VIL because this will be connected to another inverter or some other logic and the input of that particular logic is the output of this particular inverter and the input to be detected as logic 0 it has to lie in the range less than VIL it should be within, it should be within 0 to VIL so VOL is, is a value which is less than VIL okay makes sense next you have the VOH so in the in the case where VOH was exactly equal to VDD in this case the VOH is not is not is exactly equal to VDD but it's a range it's a it's it's the highest value that is attained at the output of this particular inverter that will be detected as logic 1 so where your input lies in this range 0 to VIL your output is expected to be VOH and above so anything which is above VOH till VOH and above it will be detected as logic 1 at the output of this particular inverter and now VOH should be lying somewhere at the should be at a point which is greater than VIH because the same reason because this particular net this particular output of the inverter will be connected to a, another logic another inverter or any any CMOS logic and it has to provide a logic level at this particular input of the of the logic it, it has to provide a logic level to the input of this particular logic such that it would be recognized as logic 1 so VOH should lie somewhere more than VIH so keeping this particular inferences in mind and also the slope that you see over here it's close to minus 1 it, we, we expect the slope to be minus 1 and why minus 1 it, the slope is again the change in the output voltage divided by the change in the input voltage so if you ch see if for, for this particular curve the change in the output voltage let's say it's it's falling from some so let's say some 800 uh, 900 millivolts to 800 millivolts whereas a change in the input is from 100 millivolts to 200 millivolts okay so change in the input voltage is positive 200 minus 100 it's 100 change in the output voltage is negative and as a result of that you see a negative slope over here okay it's dv out by dv in and in the same direction so if you go in this direction dv out output changes from 900 to 800 so change in the output is negative 100 800 minus 900 and the change in the input voltage is positive 100 from 100 to 200 millivolts and as a result of that you see a slope of negative 1 okay now with all these things in mind we have we have inferred few things from this curve itself the first thing is your in your vol should be should be less than vil so as so as the next stage of the inverter should be should be able to recognize logic zero at its input and to and to recognize logic zero at its input we we have made a we have made an inference over here which says that your input voltage your input voltage should lie somewhere less than should be less than vil so hence vol should be lying somewhere between zero to vil okay next your voh should be somewhere more than vih and the reason is again the same because the next stage of the inverter should should detect a logic one at, at the input of this particular logic if there is a logic which is connected connected over here it should detect a voltage level which which is logic one so as a result of that VOH should be always be greater than VIH okay with all these things in mind what we'll do is we'll now plot this all the voltage levels on a single line for example there is a line which is which is just an axis it 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 starts from 0 volts it ends at vdd poles let's plot it over here so it starts at 0 volts and it ends at vdd poles and now what we'll do is we'll take all this vih vil voh and vol and plot it over here and try to derive the noise margin equations from from this particular curve okay so what i'll do is since since we are already running out of time let's try to plot this curve in the next video thank you